Well then, here we go again. Jesus Christ, man. But yeah, anyway, Potfinder here, and today I'm gonna get myself scammed yet again. So yeah, from the usual five I unboxed, thanks to some lovely patrons, I can now you know, open 10. So yeah, I don't know what to expect, I already got like a bunch of field tested and battle scarred skins, so those are out of the equation, so please... Katanana? Maybe the Magnum? Ah, screw this shit. I mean, the healer already got the better looking one. I mean, Desert Eagles look cool. M79, Doom Boomstick, yeah. Okay, please, just give me something decent, come on. Unboxing, fam. Hey, it's taken ages. Yes! Epic skin. Jesus, why did I equip that shit? Well then, let's go for another one, come on, just... Okay, I swear to god, if I get, like, all battles cards... Off to a fantastic start, very cool, very cool. By the way, this was 17 and 50 euros. But what do you mean? Three in a row! Am I doing something wrong? Oh, by the way, I didn't click this, I didn't click that, that, that... Yeah, click everything and then go back to... The unboxing, come on, field tested now, it has to be, I mean... What does it give me trash? <laughs> What's this? Okay, one mint. That's pretty much all I want. Come on. No, oh, it can't be. Oh, yes, man. Finally, something that ain't battle scarred. Well, then, five more to go. That was where I ended the tank before, and now let's go for five more. No, pa, oh, pa. I think the trick is to spend more money and you get more, more luck. Mm, very scam. Okay. Ah, feel tested. I mean, I already got the what's it called? Wait, why didn't I get any Jing Jang skins? I mean, speaking of Jing Jang skins, here's a battle scar just to rub it in. Okay, use. Come on, only got two mints. I want a Jing Jang Magnum. Come on. Where's the Magnum? Screw this shit. Okay, I just realized I only have one more skin. Or should I say one more USB? I mean, what's this? No. What about these? Where are they? Okay, I swear to god, if I don't get a magnum, I'm gonna cry. Cause that's pretty much the only thing I want. Oh, it looks promising, and it's battle scarred. Oh! Just, you know, man, I'm just gonna leave the fucking room. I mean, what the hell's this? Why not mint? Where is the mint? Okay, so put funder got trash, 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 awesome, awesome, trash, 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 trash. Why? Well then, for the three of you who are asking, did Putfunder make a profit? Putfunder didn't make a profit, like, per usual, because Killing Floor 2 and unboxing, yeah, j that's just not profitable, like, at all. So yeah, at max, I did get 4 bucks, that's pretty much 2 keys, and that's about it. So yeah, just gonna be playing today Containment Station, because this map, I mean, it's flat, you know, it's easy to kill things, and... Yeah, this is the first skin on the list. Oh my god, man. The yes, hell's this said. shit? So yeah, this is the Winchester. It has a scuffed up dragon on its side. And it lagged because killing floor and shit like that. Oh my god, it's just like so satisfying shooting dudes. Why not let me just go to the standard position and I'm just gonna freeze the dudes. Easy. I mean, I can't see jack shit, but as long as I keep killing them, we should be good to go. Theoretically, okay, why am I aiming in this game? It doesn't even work like that. I mean, it works, it's just not for me. So, yeah, this is the Winchester and this is the 9mm. Oh, this thing actually looks cool. Wait. Okay, Clots, can you just chill for just a little bit? Oh my god. So, yeah, this thing, it does have a little bit of a glow on it, which is... I mean, I'm a fan. Not even gonna lie. Okay, that's a fidget spinner. I'm gonna kill the Clot instead, because easy pickings gonna bash you. Oh, he's dead. Okay, you know what? Freeze grenade. God, I'm good. We should like crouch. And just in case you're interested in how the healer looks like, well, this is it. Pretty wank. Not even gonna lie. But yeah, I'm more of a fan of, you know, vault items, if I'm like completely honest for these. You know, 9mm and welder and shit like that. Yeah, the vault items look pretty freaking better than what you have to pay for, but sadly, I don't even get vault items, Jesus Christ. Well, the last dude, probably going to be a bloat, and let's go headshot once, headshot him twice, and this was wave one completed. So yeah, the only reason I do like the 9mm is because it has, like, a glow on it, and it's kinda cool. It even has, like, the, what's it called, the magazine? Like, something glowing on it. Very nice, very nice. Well then, sell so that shit, change the perk into the gunslinger with the Desert Eagle and the 1911. Okay, this looks cool. Okay, can I just get into like a light so I can see the shit better? Oh, here we go. Easy, easy. 
So yeah, this is the Desert Eagle and... It's alright, I guess. I mean, it's meant. And I believe this is like the highest thing to sell on the market for, you know, the Synthwave skins. And this is the 1911. I mean, the dragon looks cool, but other than that... Battle card wank. Well then, here's a bunch of Zeds, easy headshot, and there's like some shit behind. What are you here? Go away, please. God, I'm good. But yeah, man, a lot of people don't actually use their, you know, bashing, and that's how they get cornered and absolutely killed from time to time. I mean, just use your bash. It's literally just press we, and you just stumble that Z guaranteed, unless it's, you know, raged, aka a raged flash pound. Okay, stupid ass Cedars, can you just go away from me? Wham on 38! The hell? Wait, did the trapper actually do so much damage? What? I am confused. Well then, speaking of bashing flash bones, here is one right now. Okay, you're gonna <gasps> die fam, yeah, there he goes. Wait, wasn't that a headshot? Well then, time for a grenade, stupid ass clots, close the door, cause why the hell not? Did that even kill anything? Okay, that did. Well then, 14 more dudes, let's just go and kill them as fast as possible, easy. I just like the gunslinger, man. I mean, I don't play the gunslinger all that much anymore. But, I mean, if I get the chance to play him for more than one day, yeah, then I'm just gonna get good and kill some dudes. I mean, gunslinger, it's pretty much just, you know, the longer you play him, the more you just realize how powerful this perk is. And it's probably one of the most powerful perks in the game. And that was a delayed jump, thanks, man. And bloat is covering up your weak spot. And now he's covering your laser. Very cool, or should I say beam? So yeah, again, just gonna quickly show the skins. This is the 1911. Ah, it looks decent, I guess. Okay, Husk, I mean, what are you doing, fam? But I mean, at least you can see the 9mm in a little bit more detail. I mean, I should probably not, like, spin it around all that much, but yeah, this is how it looks like. And the Desert Eagle. Very cool. Okay, so the question is, should I change into the, what's it called, Commando or... SWAT. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go Commando because I haven't played the Commando in God Ages. I mean, I did play him yesterday because I had to, you know, level up the shit, but... Oh, it looks... halfway decent. For a battle scarred skin. Ah, you can kind of see the scuffs. Ah, it's just... I mean, it's a skin. Can't argue with that one. Would be like a million times better if it was like in, you know, freaking mint, but nope. Battle scar it is. Okay, fidget spinner nation get absolutely killed. Time to extend some good old slow motion. And this is not how you extend slow motion with the commander. You just wait for it to go for as long as possible and extend at the last second possible. If that made any sense. Because then you get like the most out of slow motion for your level 25 teammates. Well, that's a fidget spinner just out of nowhere. Very cool. Okay, that's a lot of dudes. I should probably go backwards because I'm gonna get stuck. If I don't go backwards, go away, please. Extend some slow motion, because why the hell not? And go out the door. And maybe close it. Did he just, like, broke the door? I mean, I still don't understand how sirens can just break the door like that. Okay, right, here's off with your legs. No one likes you, man. Easy, easy. And clots. And I missed them, because... I'm not a level 20, because my recoil is very bad. But yeah, the commando, it is... Quite fun to play, in my opinion. But, I mean, it becomes very freaking cool once you reach level 20 because of, you know, the hollow point skill. And if you're not using hollow points, then I don't even know why the hell you're playing Commando Fam. I mean, maybe just to, you know, extend slow motion, but that's pretty much it. Alright, you're dead. Oh, well, then, free ammunition. Just gonna go and chug a grenade. Close the door just so I won't kill myself here. And then bash him. Okay, can you all just, like, go away? And of course I get like some flash bones, cause why the hell not? Okay, now the real question is, where the hell is the flash pound and it's only a quarter pound? So let's just go over here, just chop them up as fast as I can. <gasps> Easy, didn't even give me a headshot effect, cause... I don't know why. I mean, sometimes quarter pounds don't get headshot effects. <gasps> I mean, that one did. And here is a right here. Well then, the last time I played this shit, the game crashed, and then I just couldn't be bothered, you know, to play again, and here we are again, and I'm gonna show off the last weapon on the list, aka the Chris freaking Vector. So yeah, this is what the skin looks like, it looks, like I said, for pretty much most of these unboxings, actual 
garbage but yeah like i said multiple times when you unbox something you should get like mint a hundred percent and feel tested and battle scarred should be you know optional how should i say conditions for the weapon but i mean obviously game developers are not gonna do that because Minus money for the Chris Vector to good use and if you're playing the SWAT without a Vector Yeah, I don't even know why the hell you're playing the SWAT because this is literally the only viable weapon You know for the dude. I mean fair enough, you know the SMG now is good You can like heal the team it does like some decent damage with like minimal recoil and shit like that. Oh, that's a spooder And I need to reload. But yeah, man the SWAT perk like overall I do think it's kind of like a weaker commando pretty much because the commando can at least you know, extends slow motion, so it has, like, something going for it. But, I mean, the only thing the SWAT can do is stun. And it can only do that, like, five times if it decides to work. Because usually it just says, nope, ain't gonna work. But I completely missed the door, and that's a stalker right behind. But, yeah, man, the SWAT's weakness pretty much like Big Zed's, because once they swarm you, yeah, you're pretty much toast. And speaking of big Zeds, I mean, it's not like that much of a big Z, but it's still a nuisance to deal with. Because you just have to, like, pretty much empty out the full magazine to kill him. Well, then, here we have another baboon. Quickly stun him. And this is pretty much how you play the SWAT 101. You just clear trash, and when something big comes, you attempt to stun it for the team. Okay, what the hell are you here? Okay, fidget spinner, quickly bash him so you're gonna get stunned so you can block. It's kind of like a cool trick, I don't think I mentioned that in this video already, so I'm not gonna like double mention myself. Easy spiders, easy kills. But yeah, for the boss, I think I'm actually gonna go back to Gunslinger because... I mean, SWAT, it's not for bosses. You can like, agree or disagree with me, but for me personally, ah, it's just trash for bosses, man, like, actually trash. Okay, that's a flesh pound. It's gonna hurt a little bit, thanks for the free push. I really much appreciate it. Okay, what do you mean? Why are there so many flesh bones? And this is the weakness of the SWAT, because it has to deal with, you know, these bad boys. Like, all the time. Okay, got one, but there's still two of them on the map. Which is not good, and I just need a little bit of breathing room, so easy welds. And let's go back. Okay, flesh bone, just go quickly. Whoop me, there we go. Can I quickly stun him before the other dude comes? Probably. Easy kills. And I don't have another stun grenade to stun the other dude, so I'm just gonna have to take a parry. Oh, what was that? And I'll just have to shoot him, because that's pretty much the SWAT. Nice. But yeah, I will admit, I do like the SMGs. You know, pretty much like any game, because I'm a fan of SMGs. And the SWAT is, you know, fun to play because of that. But I don't play them like that often, because of how, you know inconsistent it is in this game if that makes any sense okay you know what i'm just gonna like simply put it it's not the most team friendly oriented perk because it doesn't provide that much for the team if you like actually think about it because you know pretty much the only thing he has is stun grenades and trash killing potential so in my opinion i would choose i don't know the demo firebug gunslinger sharpshooter pretty much everything else besides the swat because it's just for me personally pointless so yeah, i did said i'm gonna go back to the gunslinger and that's exactly what i'm gonna be doing with dual desert eagles fully upgrade these things because they are just mm, perfection i could go for magnums just for like the raw damage, because why the hell not? And let's see what we can actually do. Please give me an abomination, man. J just no Hans, because he's like the only one that can dodge shit. And he's annoying. And of course it gives me Hans, thanks, man. Okay, if this was multiplayer, I would hate him. But since it's solo, yeah, damage is going to be easy pickings for him. If I can connect my headshots, that is. But yeah, man, Hans, he's just like annoying as hell, man. Fair enough, on Solo, he's just like the easiest boss to kill pretty much, right next to the Abomination. But I mean, a multiplayer, since his health is, you know, larger, yeah, he's pretty freaking annoying. And I just need to deal with all of the spiders and hopefully not some quarter pawns, because they like to spawn. Okay, that's not good. And speaking of spawning quarter pawns, here they come. Oh, and here's Hans, just out of nowhere. But I mean, I can just like freely headshot him, because the dude is standing still. But I need to run. Okay, there's still a quarter pound around the map, which I have to be a little bit wary about. But as long as I keep shooting Han, this will be pretty easy. Okay, that's a quarter pound, and this is what I mean about bashing. You can just easy avoid him. There we go, and Hans is on his last phase. I mean, fair enough, I didn't, like, fully avoid the quarter pound, because he did, like, do some damage to me. But damage was pretty minimal. 
so I don't really care. Well then Hans, this is where you're gonna die or I'm gonna die. And apparently you are the one who's dead. Easy. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and me playing with weapons. And yes, I am joking about the weapons. Jesus Christ, I don't take this game seriously. Because if I have an opinion on the game, you don't have to share the same opinion. But you can respect my opinion and we can all live happily ever after. And of course, as per usual, you can get a Woodland Battle Scarred skin. Just like further rub it in. Thanks, man. Well then, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe and... And see you guys next episode. Adios.